So another year is nearly at an end. And my goodness me, what a year. I mean, talk about transformation. For me, it's been absolutely an incredible time. And, you know, if I look back at this time last year, when we were in the midst of the COVID lockdown and all the challenges that that presented me and many, many, many other people, and to where I am today, this year has been quite phenomenal and indeed really awesome <laughs> for me. Um, this time last year, I was living in a different place. I'd moved from my um, apartment in one area of Spain in a lovely place called Mijas Pueblo. And everything that I was doing, all my art classes and my exhibitions, the courses I was running, everything was cancelled. So it was kind of a difficult time. And um, I was very fortunate to be able to move to a friend's house and, and use their, um, have an apartment there with a fabulous uh, studio, um, which was the saving grace, <laughs> and started putting together all my classes and the courses that I was supposed to be running with actual people. <laughs> I started putting them online. And um, then a company from America contacted me and said they would like to help me market the course, which was just like, wow, unbelievable. And um, everything kicked off in May. So really, it's just been over six months that I've been um, involved with them. And they have seriously changed my life, as indeed have you all the students that have now um, taken the courses and you know i'm so overwhelmed with um, gratitude and thanks to everybody involved for really um, absolutely changing my life uh, in the, the end of the summer in september i moved from that place to find my own place and here I am in a, another lovely village called Frigiliana, which is known for its artists and culture. And it's wonderful and I love it here. I have a smaller studio, but um, it's still great. And I feel much, much happier here. But, you know, none of this would have happened without you guys who have... Um, decided that you'd like to learn to paint, you want to do abstracts and um, bought my course. And, you know, when I read the comments in Kajabi and I read the comments on the Facebook page, I'm I'm kind of like staggered. Are you talking about me? <laughs> because, you know, I'm so thrilled that you have enjoyed what I've been teaching you and that you found so much benefit from it. So um, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for all this amazing opportunity that you have given me and indeed the team in the States have absolutely given me and um, to wish you all a really, really happy Christmas. And I'm looking forward to what's going to happen next year. When I think about what's happened this year, you know, now the world is my oyster. <laughs> and I finished the, 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 the year off with an exhibition of um, some of my paintings that I've done throughout this year. You can see some of them behind me. This is the one that we started with, with the first abstract course. And this one here on the my right is the one that we finished with. <laughs> Um, for the latest course, the intermediate course. So we've gone through a wonderful uh, arena of different kinds of techniques and skills and textures and ways and means of doing abstract painting. And, you know, I learn as I go. It's always a wonderful thing about teaching is I, I learn maybe as much, if not more than you, because I have to really kind of analyze it and put it together in order to be able to teach it. 
So it's been a phenomenal learning curve for me too. And um, I'm totally blown away by so many of your beautiful paintings that I've seen, um, particularly in the Facebook group. They're just fantastic. So it's wonderful to see that um, I've given you some inspiration to help you to explore your own creativity and uniqueness in your painting. And so just I wanted to say thank you and have a wonderful Christmas. And I'm just going to finish with um, an exhibition that I was able to do when I first moved here to Frigliana. Somebody had um, dropped out of doing a, a, of an exhibition and um, asked me if I would like to do two weeks there of my work. So basically I did all, put all the work in that I've been working on with you. Um, over this last year so I'm going to to show you that but I look forward to next year and and um, you continuing on your art journey with exploring your creativity and your abstract art and thank you again and look forward to seeing you in 2022 so the exhibition was called um, art mix because I had all my different kind of collections um, in the exhibition. As you can see here, um, I've got some of my textured landscapes, uh, which I'd been doing. And then obviously the other landscapes, the Impressionist ones. And then this was one of the big ones that I did um, in lockdown. <laughs> A really big, fun painting to cheer me up. And then you can see here on the left to the one that we started with, with the course. Um, and I just really enjoyed doing that painting. It was sort of bright and sunny and had a lot of energy. And then the two underneath are the ones I did in the second course was um, how to get unstuck. And I thought they looked really nice um, framed. And um, um, I love the color combinations of those two paintings. So um, some of you will recognize those. And then these little ones are the ones that um, I did through um, with the exercises for the first course. Um, you know, using different um, instruments and tools and textures and looking at color. And um, that one I framed, which I really liked. And of course they were done on paper. So, you know, even if they're just sort of little things that you might be doing for yourself, you can always, you know, put a frame around them and you'd be surprised how lovely they look. Um, the two um, of the figures, those were on paper, but I actually stuck them down onto board and I think they look really nice. I've, I've now got them in my spare room in my, uh, in my new house, so I really... Um, like those. Now this big one, this is the first one that I did in lockdown when I was feeling very anxious and a bit worried about what was going to happen. Um, it was lots of textures and energy in it. It was sort of quite a dynamic painting, um, which I, again, that was framed. Um, and I enjoyed doing that. It, it kind of released a lot of tension and uh, anxiety out of me doing that painting and then these two ones that I did again when we were in the lockdown using a lot of texture um, I used a pummy stone paste and I also used some sand and um, this one was a really nice painting um, I called it the forest over the sea and you can sort of see all the reflections in it it's very simple, but it was, you know, has quite a, an impact. And this one is inspired by all the mountains that are around me. <laughs> and actually the feel of that is really, really uh, very heavily textured. And then um, these next ones are the ones I did for the contemporary art um, lesson. Uh, just using simple shapes and a limited palette and I really liked how these came out um, you know very different for me to be so simplified but you know in a modern house these kind of paintings look really dynamic 
So um, I was very happy with how those turned out and they look great with the frame. Um, just as, you know, very simple frames and it can really sort of bring a picture to life. <laughs> so I enjoyed that. And then this one coming up, this was the one I did on canvas, uh, which again developed. Very, very simple, but, you know, quite an impact with that painting, which I really enjoyed. And then this is a really big painting. I actually did this a while ago and I changed it. And then here I am um, with some of the paintings. So there we are, um, the pictures of this year of 2021. So I hope you've um, enjoyed having a look at those all together. And if you'd like to see some more of my work, do go to my website. Um, it's joyfayartist.com and I'm putting some of the links below um, the video. And I'd love to hear your comments, you know, tell me what you think. And um, that would be great to read those. And until next time, I'm working on some new projects as we speak for the next year. So happy Christmas and see you soon. Bye for now.